Hey, what's up, YouTube? Oh, God, I got the greasiest forehead ever. My God. Oh, God. Is anybody else up, like, that can't sleep besides me? My topic I want to talk about, oh, what's up, YouTube, everybody out there, YouTube, Bill? The topic I want to talk about is, um, how to, steps to prevent your man from cheating. I know it's not fail-proof. If a guy's going to cheat, he's going to cheat no matter what. But... I have enough time to talk about three good things. At least talking about the way to a man's heart is through his soul. Um, through his soul. What the hell am I talking about? See, that's how you know it's late. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And that saying is really true. Really true. Especially from what I've seen. In this day of age, um, everything in a relationship is outsourced. Um, I don't really... Maybe it's just my perception on things... But I don't really see that many women um, cooking like people used to do back in the day. Um, cook something that he really likes. Something that's really good. Something that he doesn't have to feel like has to be outsourced. Like the fast food chain down the street or whatever. Put some love in on the table. Like some catfish. Um, some cornbread. Something that he really likes. Um, his fa Find out what his favorite food is. His favorite meal. Um, something that can really be another reason on top of your other many reasons and great qualities, which I'm pretty sure you have, for keeping them home. Um, I'm pretty sure keeping them home isn't the only thing that you're worried about, too, as far as, like, preventing a guy from cheating at all. Like I said, if he's going to cheat, he's going to cheat. There's nothing you can do to stop it, but these help out a whole lot. Um, things that are neglected as far as, like, cooking. Another thing that I'm starting to see, which isn't really a neglect, it's probably uh, something that's too much, like smothering, um, not not letting him do his own thing. A lot of women, I'm starting to see that a lot too, is like keeping a man caged up, not letting him have the guy time with his friends and stuff like that too. That's another big thing, not letting him get the guy time. Um, sending him 45 texts, three voicemails, I'm worried about you, you've been out past 1 o'clock. You know, this and that. I'm pretty sure it's um, courteous for a man to say, hey, I'm still going to be out, blah, blah, blah. You know, if he's a good man, he's going to send you that past 1 o'clock text. Or whatever time it is that he said he'd be home or whatever. And he's going to send you to prevent you from being worried. But there's a difference between that and smothering him. Oh, where are you going to be at? Who are you going to be with? Blah, blah, blah. When I check your phone less. And that's another thing, too. Smothering being all up in his life so much that he doesn't feel like he has a break or time enough to miss you allow your man some time to miss you um, especially when he's away from the home you know appreciate the life that he had before you as, as when I say that I mean like the friends he still has and then you at the same time so that way he doesn't feel like he lost a part of himself hanging out with his friends because you smothering you know what I'm saying allow him the time to be grateful for what he has at home and coming home to it because he has the space away, the break, and then you. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, too, is putting the P in the V. What I mean by that is um, doing what makes your man happy in the bedroom. To me, that's a big thing. Like, the whole sex thing or whatever. Like, I know there's women that are afraid to, that, not afraid, but just don't go down on their man. But if your man likes that, <coughs> I mean, I'm not only talk from experience but just from similar stories that I heard from men um the woman won't go down on them but then when they try to talk the woman on, to go down on them they have the issue of woman just be like, oh, oh I, don't, I don't know is this oh this is so gross and then want to give the commentary the negative commentary while you're doing it you don't want to have no effort to try to go ahead and learn how to be a better person that goes down or whatever it is that he likes you know to go ahead and just do that um, that compromising situation where you, you, you don't even want to compromise. You, what you do instead is you opt out and give the worst. Um, you know what I'm saying. You go down to your man, you get the worst job possible so that way you don't have to do it again. That ruins everything. That's another thing that a man would outsource too because with one woman won't do at home. Pretty sure you know the cliche thing. Another woman's going to do. Same thing, like I said, cooking. That, that could be something that's outsourced too. Don't have him go buy fast food all the time. You know what I'm saying? Cook a good meal. Make, give him a reason to put some love in his stomach. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll reciprocate the same love. Give him the free time that he has. L allow him the space. And another thing, too, put it down in the bedroom, ladies. That's, don't be stingy. Don't be selfish about that. 
I mean, if he gives, give too. But like I said, all men are different, but there's a 90 percentile that are out there that are dogs. 90% of guys out here are just straight dirtbag dogs. And no matter how many times you can put it down in the bedroom, how many times you can feed them, make them be the best chef, and no matter how many times you go ahead and just give him the free time and space, he's always going to cheat no matter what because that's him. But like I said, find out the real man and find out the real person that, like I said, time is a real true lie detector here. So if you spend enough time with a guy before you get into a relationship, you're going to know the real him. You're going to know he's a cheater before you're in a relationship with him. So if you're in a relationship with him and that slipped by the first four months, it's kind of hard to hide the fact that you're a cheater in the first six months. I'm just saying, time is a lie detector test. But those three things right there will keep your man satisfied and happy. They're basic. The simplest of the simplest things that are basic. 